Well, praise the Lord. It's good to, good to have you all out tonight. We're going to be praying for Israel. We're going to have a night of worship and prayer. So glad you, you came. Um, I'd like to read to you a psalm, a very short psalm, verses 6 through 9 of Psalm 122. It talks about praying for the peace of Jerusalem, for the peace of Israel. And as you all know by now that Israel's going through quite a bit. Uh, they were attacked on October 7th. Many casualties, many deaths, many hostages. And it seems like the situation is going to get much bigger in the weeks and months to come. So prayers, prayers are so, so important to petition the Lord on behalf of, of Israel tonight. And uh, some of you may be thinking, I want to do more. I want to do something. I want to be able to, you know, if I could go there and support the people and so forth. But, but sometimes we can't do some of those practical things, but we can do prayer. We can offer up petition to the Lord, and he will respond to those prayers. He loves his people Israel. He loves his church. And all those wonderful prayers that go up will have an effect. So notice what Psalm 122, it's a song of ascent that people would sing as they go up to worship the Lord for the feast to Jerusalem. It says, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. Peace be within your walls, prosperity within your palaces. For the sake of the brethren and companions, I will now say, peace be within you. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek your good. So there's peace for all kinds of things being mentioned, just those few verses. In verses 6, it says, peace for Jerusalem, the city. May they prosper who love you. In other words, may they be blessed who bless you. God's foreign policy. You know, I'll bless those who bless you. And on the negative side, it's I'll curse those who curse you. And we can play, pray for the blessings of those nations and the people in their support of Israel. Then in verse 7, it goes on to say, Peace be within your walls, prosperity within your palaces. In your walls, that's within Jerusalem itself, within the city itself, the residents, the inhabitants of the city, as well as the palaces, the political government we can pray for tonight as well. Uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu and his cabinet and, and the defense minister and the troops for protection. There's all kinds of things we can pray under the banner of peace for Jerusalem. And then in verse 8 it says, for, for the sake of my brethren and companions, I will now say peace be within you. So for my brethren, for the families there in Jerusalem and for the friends that are there. Everybody who's involved in ministry within Jerusalem, within Israel itself, those prayers can go up. There's so much to pray for under the banner of peace. And then in verse 9, it finishes up by saying, Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek your good. We pray for Israel because the house of the Lord was there. It was the temple when it was standing, but it's the banner of God's name. Uh, Israel represents who God is. They're to be that beacon of light to the world. So they're on the world stage right now, and we can pray that they show what God is like, that they can show the love, the grace, but also the truth and the discipline and the chastisement side as well, that, that God isn't a pushover, but he's also a loving God. So there's so much to pray for under this banner called peace. And remember, peace that word is, is not simply the absence of war. You know, it's more than a lack of conflict. Peace has, at its very root word in Hebrew, shalom. Not shalom, but shalom is the root word. And it is used some 14 times in Exodus chapter 21 and 22, in just two chapters, shalom. And it has to do with Moses speaking about um, about what to do when people steal from you, when, when there's a crime committed, when somebody suffers loss. He says shalom, in other words, to restore or to give restitution, the word implies. 
And then you go over to Genesis chapter 43, and you find that Joseph asks about how his father Jacob is doing and about the well-being of the other brothers and so forth, especially Benjamin. And the response was, uh, Jacob, their father, was in good health. Or another phrase they used in that same passage in Genesis 43, when Joseph asked them the question was, he is of well-being. He is doing well. And all those words, well-being, uh, well, in good health, use the word shalom. It's the word shalom. So shalom has the idea of completeness or wholeness. And that's what we want to pray for Israel tonight, is that they are whole, that they are complete, and that they lack nothing in resources, and that they would know the Lord. That's our ultimate thing. The complete reconciliation or peace, as the New Testament brings it apart to us, is that people would be made whole through their relationship with the Lord. And that's what we hope and pray, that they see that there's nothing else that's going to satisfy them. There's nothing else that's going to quench their spiritual hunger and thirst and provide them with the peace and security they so desperately seek. So when our prayers go up tonight, think about all the things you can pray for in verses 6 through 9 of Psalm 122. The people, the residents, the family, the political government, the fact that God's name would not be shamed but would be glorified. Uh, through all of this, okay? Well, let's pray, and then our, our great worship team is going to uh, lead us in a couple songs, and then after those few songs are up, we can offer a few prayers, and then we'll have another song, and then more prayers, and then another song. We'll just kind of inter, intersperse the prayers within between songs and so forth. So we have about an hour and a half to about 8.30 tonight to pray and to worship. So. You know, feel free to, to express yourself in, in love and adoration to the Lord. He will hear your, hear our prayers, and he'll answer, too, praying in faith according to the Spirit of God. All right, let's pray. Lord, we thank you again for this time of prayer and worship, Lord, that, that we can all come to you and petition you on behalf of Israel, and the government, and the troops, and, and the whole situation there, that there would be peace. And we know that it will be fully realized when the Prince of Peace comes back. But Lord, hear our prayers tonight, and we pray, Lord, that your will would be done, that you would bring protection, that you would bind the enemy from anything outside your will, Lord. Let it not take place. Only the things according to your will that you determine from the foundations of the earth. Lord, we know that some things will not happen for Israel unless we pray for them. And we ask that you would hear those prayers and then act, because we know you have their good in heart. We know you have the Arabs good at heart too, Lord. We know you have the Muslim uh, people's good at heart too. We know you want them all saved and to come to you and to praise your name because of their belief in the gospel of Jesus Christ. So Lord, tonight, be with us all. Let your spirit descend upon us and let it be glorifying to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Why don't we begin tonight by just standing together for a couple of our songs and during our times of prayer, certainly be seated. Sometimes the part of the aspect of, of worship and prayer, we're kind of uh, being intercessors. We're, it says that the presence of God inhabits the praises of Israel, the praises of his people. And so that's what we want to do tonight is bring the presence of the Lord here and, and keep in mind to be really interceding or standing in the gap for Israel and say, hey, look up Israel, cause praise to rise to God, to Jesus the Messiah. Look up, there is where your hope comes from.
rising eyes are turning to you we turn to you oh hearts are yearning for you. We long for you, because when we see you, we find strength to face the day. And in your presence, all our fears are washed away. Washed away Hosanna Hosanna You are the God who saves us Worthy of all our praises Hosanna Hosanna Come have your way among us. We welcome you here, Lord Jesus. Hear the sound of hearts returning to you. Return to you. Hosanna, 
as we pray and seek, as we are on our knees, O oh God. We cry out to you, Hosanna, save now. Save now, God. Do a mighty work, for you are a mighty God, O oh God. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the heart. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Amen. You may 
be seated if you would like, and let's just wait upon the Lord and intercede. Yes, Lord, come and save now, Lord God, for that is the ultimate plan for salvation to ring out among the nations of the earth. As we pray for Israel tonight, Lord, again, show your glory, Lord, your love and your mercy, your forgiveness, Lord. Outside of ritual and religiosity, Lord, it is relationship, God. Father of creation, unfold your sovereign plan. Raise up a chosen generation. That will march through the land All of creation is longing for Your unveiling of power Would you release your your glory fall in this room. Let it go forth from here to the nations. Let your fragrance rest in this place. As we Let your glory fall in this 
the fragrance of Christ some to eternal life some into death but we are the fragrance of Christ and Jesus as you quoted from that scripture in Isaiah the spirit of the Lord is upon me the Lord has anointed me to preach good news set the captives free to give sight to the blind day of the Lord come Lord in this place come O Lord in power as we pray come upon the nations O Lord let your glory fall in this world let it go forth from here to the nations let your fragrance rest upon this world oh Lord as we gather to seek your face hallelujah oh Lord we say that the people who are called by my name, if they would seek my face, if they would pray, if they would turn from their wicked ways, that Lord, you would hear from heaven and you would heal the land. We pray for that tonight, Lord, that many in that nation of Israel would turn to you and repent, Lord, and ask for you to bring that healing you to bring the healing. Awaken, Lord, as only you can. Awaken hearts by your Spirit. By your Spirit. Pour out your Spirit, Lord. Pour out your Spirit, Lord. to be like Jesus. I want to be like Jesus. Pour out your spirit, Lord. Pour out your spirit, Lord. I want to be like Jesus. I seek your name, I call. 
There's life in you. Your holy 
happiness surrounds me. Holiness surrounds me. You are beauty in life. No darkness at all. surrounds me Your holiness surrounds me You are beauty in life No darkness at all Holy is your that tonight that as we sing this again your holiness surrounds me that we're in a singing for Israel the holiness of the Lord would surround Israel would surround those nations there yeah. the Gaza Strip, the left bank Lebanon, all the areas there it's almost like we're right there just singing Lord your holiness surrounds me surrounds this place so let's sing that again and make it an intercessory prayer in that way. Yeah, because many are praying for them, and we believe God's going to do a work by His Spirit, by the glory of His presence. So let's sing that again. The holiness surrounds me. Mm. Holiness surrounds me. Holiness surrounds me. You are beauty in light. No darkness at all. In Jesus' name, yeah. Your holiness surrounds me. Holiness surrounds me. Are beauty and light, no darkness at all, no darkness at all, none at all. Holy is your name, O Lord of light. Holy is your name. God. 
Take your place, Lord. Set your foot, Lord. Even now on the Mount of Olives, Lord, set your foot in that place. Claim your majesty, Lord. Your glory. Holiness surrounds me.
Walk amongst us, walk amongst your people, we pray. Blessed be your name, who comes in the name of the Lord. We proclaim that now. By faith, because we know you and are known by you. Even now, we bless your name.
For Lord, you are the light of the world. And you came unto your own. Your own received you not. But as many as received you, to them you gave the authority and the power to be called the sons of God. May many come to know you these days. Oh, you. The light shines in the darkness. And the darkness did not overcome it and will never overcome it. You are from the beginning. You spoke the world into existence. The universe is held together, Lord, by the word of your power, O oh God. Yes, we're just looking for those that will believe you for that, Lord. Yeah. And shine as the light. Because you are the light. We have fellowship with you and with one another. Your blood cleanses us from all sin. Healing in your name, Lord. Walk amongst us, oh God. Amongst them all. Just walk amongst us, oh Lord. In this place. Ooh, in this place. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for. To be overcome by your presence, Lord. Your presence, Lord. There's nothing worth more that will ever come close. No thing can compare. You're our living hope. Yes, you are, God. Your presence. tasted and seen of the sweetness of love that my heart becomes free and my shame is undone your presence Holy Spirit you are well Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for. To be overcome by your presence, Lord, Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for, to be overcome by your presence, Lord, your presence. Let us become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your goodness. Let us become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your goodness. 
let us become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your goodness. Let us become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your goodness. life, there is hope, truth, and majesty. Awaken our hearts, Lord. Open our eyes to see you in your glory, in your majesty, in your power. To have faith, believing that you truly have overcome the world. Though in this world we may have tribulation, but we will have tribulation, but you have overcome the world. Bring your presence, Lord. Bring your glory. Give us a touch of heaven, Lord. Hope restored, Lord. Your word is truth, Lord. It speaks of your coming, Lord. It speaks of your working within the church, Lord. Working within your people, Lord. That our joy might be made full. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for, to be overcome by your presence, Lord. Your presence, Lord. Hallelujah. Your presence, Lord. We bless your name. We worship you, God. Just begin to praise him tonight. Open your mouth from your heart. Give him praise. Hallelujah. We bless your name, Lord. Yes, all authority is given to you, O oh God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. You ride upon the wings of the wind, Lord. The earth is your footstool. We are your people, the sheep of your pasture, oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord, may our prayers and our praise rise up to you as incense. Accomplishing your purposes, Lord. You said, well, when the Son of Man returns, will he find faith on the earth? Lord, we want to be those that are remaining faithful to pray, to intercede, to wait upon you, to believe in you, Lord. Because you have touched us with your love. Lord, each one of us has a testimony. And you are mighty to save, God. Absolutely mighty to save. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. Let's all stand together, shall we? Everyone needs compassion. Love that's never failing. Let mercy fall on Everyone needs forgiveness, the kindness of a Savior. 
praying for Israel that they would go to the throne of God through Jesus Christ that they might know him and be saved and find comfort and find help in this time of need. Thanks so much for coming out tonight. The Lord is blessed. We are blessed. Continue to just fellowship and love one another and continue to be a people of prayer. Amen. God bless you.